busy year for the city of Tacoa, and uh, I'd like to go over a few of the things that have uh, been accomplished this year. Uh, it's, it's a lot more that's happened that's on this list, but anyhow, we renovated the uh, boathouse in Dockett Lake, Tacoma. Uh, the bridal suite uh, was built inside Reflections to help with uh, all the weddings we're having up there. Uh, the depot at uh, Amtrak Station has been renovated. We became fully staffed at the water department. Thank goodness for our water department. Uh, kept planting water production in permit with no violations. That's good. We've replaced valves and pumps at the water treatment plant, installed and replaced water and sewer lines, made 119 water taps, 17 sewer installations, read over 157,000 meters. That keeps us busy. Georgia EPD completed a successful audit of the industrial pretreatment program. Approximately 800 sewer manholes have been surveyed in the collection system, and we've had major repairs of Hayes Wheel Bank's lift station completed by our in-house crews. In our south gas system, we've run uh, 345 residential gas taps. In the northern system, we've installed 17 residential, 11 commercial taps. We've added over 6,000 feet of gas line, installed 3,000 feet of gas extension along US Highway 441, and we're fully staffed there. We're continuing to work with the Georgia Department of Transportation on various road projects. We've completed upgrades at our C and G station, and we received a perfect score on our 2022 North Carolina Utilities Commission inspections, and uh, they are hard. We have uh, three new businesses that have opened or under construction, Chick-fil-A, that everybody's uh, been going to, Big Dance Car Wash, and Little Caesars is in the process of uh, building a new unit. New housing in Tacoma, we've had 13 permits for a new single family houses that were issued this year, so far. Two subdivisions are planned for next year. One multifamily apartment is under construction with eight units. We have construction of 16 townhomes on Prather Bridge Road. That's expected to begin uh, early next year. And as we've mentioned, uh, Connie Tabor leaving us, Connie Tabor was named the Main Street Hero of 2023 by the Georgia Downtown Association. All my meetings in Atlanta around the state of Georgia over the past 24 years, uh, we are well known because of what Connie Tabor has done for our city. Grant projects include the Ritz Theater Annex and the Two Glow Green, green Space that uh, Terry referred to. We received grants from the Georgia Forestry Commission, over $8,000, that's for tree planting on P uh, Pine Stage, Sage and Curry Streets. Jeremy was our grant writer for that. These grant writings we do help us a whole lot because it gives us free money. <laughs> Nine new businesses opened up downtown this year. Kristen Dill was named a Tacoa Top 15 Under 40. Over the Under 40 again. <laughs> we had uh, 12 facade grants, uh, totaling almost $87,000. <coughs> we completed the 15th year of living on Main Street directory, uh, uh, sending out over 1,000 copies of that to various places. Downtown Tacoa has seen uh, 101 events with over 33,000 visitors, and helping with that are 216 volunteer hours uh, on these events. We have a lot of volunteers around our town, and they do a lot to help the city make it what it is. Missy Richardson has been hired as our events coordinator. We had uh, 260 average attendees at the Ida Cox series. The Harvest Festival had 168 vendors. Sip and Stroll was brought back after almost a two-year hiatus with uh, 500 in attendance. The Back to School Bash in partnership with the Ritz Theater had 400 attendees, <coughs> twice as many as 2022. The Ritz Theater had 142 events with uh, almost 19,000 in attendance for that. 
authorization was received, received from HPD to move forward with the construction of the Ritz Theater Annex. <coughs> we received a grant from the Georgia Council for the Arts Project for Night at the Ritz, Season 7. Reflections had 98 events with uh, over 8,000 in attendance, which brought in over $172,000 in revenue. <coughs> and the projects completed at Reflections included the pavilion and the painting of Reflections, completions of that bridal suite, gutters installed on the pavilion, new chairs purchased for Reflections. And we had a wonderful good audit in 2023 added $262,000 in our reserves. All personnel in our fire department received 240 hours of training. Uh, that keeps us with a low ISO rating, which helps everybody's insurance costs. We received $11,000 grant from Cigna for employee wellness program, $19,000 for a safety grant to purchase safety items through the local government risk management services. Our police department is fully staffed uh, and the police department has a total of over 4,000 training hours. So we've been busy this year, a lot of good things happening in the city of Tacoa, uh, which we're all thankful and proud. 